everyone on Europedia and my this particular uh, class is the second lecture for uh, you know uh, this IPR intellectual property rights and that is for the job of examiner patent and design uh, which is advertised by Ministry of Commerce and Industry and your exam is going to be in September that is preliminary and mains is going to be in October and final selection after interview you are going to get on 17th of November since since it is a very you know uh, 2020 match sort of I mean only three four months and uh, you can hit it big so your video has come out with the module for all of you where you can score really good in that and I'm gonna teach you IPR which comprise uh, 10 to 20 percent of the entire syllabus of uh, preliminary and mains and uh, it's a very precise topic this one is my second lecture first lecture was related to terminologies couple of slides in the beginning are something which is related to the information for this exam i'm going to share with you those informations and that is related to you know your uh, exam dates the best part about this exam is 3rd september preliminary 1st october mains and interviews on 11th and 12th november and final you will uh, you know send me the box of sweets on 17th of november when you finally get selected now preliminary uh, they have given some kind of syllabus not syllabus i'll say but kind of some kind of uh, you know division of the topics my topic is related to ip legislation in india and world intellectual property organization and related treaties in fact today i'm gonna discuss with you wipo world intellectual property organization so in preliminary out of 150 question 15 question will be from my domain in mains also there are two paper paper one is objective paper two is subjective paper descriptive paper paper one may out of you know 100 question 20 questions are my embed so that means 20 percent of the part is my embed and that too they are talking about you know knowledge related to intellectual property rights and ipr is something which we are going to discuss so nutshell may my topics are preliminary 10 percent coverage and mains 20 percent coverage the best part is uh, in these kind of exams, uh, there is cutthroat competition because all the students want gazetted post and uh, I told you in the, my previous class also, intellectual property is a very good domain. I mean, you, being in job, you can do consultancy, that is a very good opportunity and private sector is open, entrepreneurial opportunities are open, so this is a really good job. Give your 100%. So without wasting any time, let me start your lecture on WIPO world intellectual property organization can you see this building beautiful building it is in geneva because head office of world intellectual property organization wipo is in geneva so this building is basically symbolic building of wipo before i go forward let me tell you all these documents whatever free videos are available on youtube 20 to uh, 30 percent of the videos are always free from europedia on youtube uh, for uh, students who are doing their self-study though i recommend that for this please entrust your preparation with mentors of europedia europedia mentors have done extensive analysis of this exam and uh, we are going to make big difference in that so you should uh, you know go with the, the uh, you know uh, mentors of europedia you should register and prepare with us but even if you are not doing that then 20 to 30 percent videos will be available on youtube uh, for the students so that they get an idea what to prepare now this particular lecture is the second lecture and uh, the you know uh, study material or content for first lecture and second lecture is available on our website that is www.yourpedia.in if you go on the website of that there you will get the document of this lecture also and the previous lecture also <laughs> at the end of the lecture you will find the actual questions the similar questions which you can expect in the prelim and mains so just don't forget to revise those questions okay now what is wipo you know wipo is one of the 15 specialized agencies of united nations so we need not to know what are the other specialized agencies of united nations but i'm very sure you people have heard about you know name of world trade organization so then unicef you have heard undp you have heard world bank you have heard imf you have heard world uh, you know international labor organization you have heard so these are specialized agencies wipo is one of the specialized agencies so uh, 1967 and 1970 they are the two dates there are two dates when was wipo born so the treaty came in 1967 but it was operational in 1970 let me uh, uh, tell you this way when indian constitution came into force when was Indian constitution created? 
two dates come to the mind. One is 26 November 1949, another is 26 January 1950. 26 January 1950 was when Constitution came in force, implement ho gaya. we became a republic. 26 November 1949, constitution was created, it was ready. Similar to that, 1967 may convention was created and entire thing was enforced in 1970. So somebody asked you, when was WIPO created? The date we will keep in mind is, uh, you know, this, 26 April 1970, when the convention entered into force when the constitution of india came into force we became a republic similar to that 26 april 1970 ko wipo came into force so remember this date right and present govern uh, this director general uh, the fellow is darren tang and he is a lawyer basically he is from national university of singapore graduate of nus and uh, uh, he is uh, from singapore only so presently he is the director general of WIPO. These are a couple of things required. Where is the head office of WIPO? Who is the present uh, director general of this? When was it created? Those kind of questions normally are asked. Okay. So, <clears throat> what are the various activities? What are the roles and responsibilities? Why do we need WIPO at the first place? Why was this created at the first place? WIPO. So, you will get some kind of idea from here that intellectual property is to be protected watch my first lecture what is intellectual property and why do we need to protect it because you know something which comes from my intellectual effort that uh, you know dividend of that uh, uh, should come to me i should get benefit from that so if i want to get dividend of that uh, then you know my intellectual property should be protected unlike tangible property car my land my building which i can protect right so i cannot protect my i, I cannot keep my you know, uh, intellectual property in the Elmira. I cannot do that. I have made this lecture. I have made this recording. Now, I cannot keep it, you know, the moment it is uploaded on YouTube, everybody has it. So, how shall I protect my intellectual property? So, for that protection, WIPO came forward that, okay, let's make some rules. And WIPO helps different countries making or framing the international IP intellectual property rules. Because now the business is global, the technology is global. You guys are using uh, Microsoft operating system, right? Now Microsoft is US based company, but you are, we are using that uh, software here. So if somebody wants to take the pirated things of uh, you know, software, then Microsoft is going to incur the losses. So intellectual property world over, it is a world over phenomena. So you need to have international rules also for that. Okay, so uh, disputes are to be resolved and they are the international disputes international rules international disputes and uniform structure should be there and you know all the countries are to be taken together so that intellectual properties are protected and this uh, wipo works with different governments different non-government organizations and uh, overall objective of this is to you know uh, socio-economic development of the people uh, and for the development of the people new technologies should be created and to create new technologies innovators uh, should be sure enough that okay our effort will be protected and we will get the benefit of that so for that purpose uh, intellect world intellectual property organization keeps putting effort so maybe some idea you got what i wipo is to do ab wipo uh, eventually there are a lot of international treaties so wo 26 international treaties hain jinko wipo administer karta hai and uh, there are so many intellectual property issues uh, you know, uh, starting from individual work to international patent and very important thing is uh, this entire thing is uh, governed by journal assembly. As you know, uh, every uh, executive body has some kind of assembly like India ke andar council of minister uh, listens to parliament. United Nations ke andar there is a journal assembly, United Nations security council and journal assembly. Similar to that, WIPO ka ek journal assembly hai. Uh, or a coordination committee hai. So suppose exam may question comes, WIPO works uh, in accordance with what? The two things you need to remember, journal assembly and coordination committee. So coordination committee and journal assembly, these are the two decision making bodies. United Nations mein kaun hai? Journal assembly and United Nations Security Council. Maybe you know that. So this is how it all goes. And I told you, you know, uh, there is a secretariat, secretariat United Nations ka bhi hai, 
और सेक्रेटरीट पार्लियामेंट का भी होता है सो सेक्रेटरीट इज वेयर सेक्रेटरीज और एग्जीक्यूटिव सीट टूगेदर एंड मेक द थिंग्स मूव सो दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स शुड बी यू नो नोन दैट वट इज द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डब्ल्यू आई पी ओ दैट शुड बी नोन now it is headquarter is in geneva switzerland so if you guys think of working and let me tell you one more thing you may get opportunity if you are in this job you may get opportunity sometime to work in geneva and because if at early age of your life if you start your career with the you know ministry of commerce and industry as you know uh, as examiner patent and design and if you do really good work then in future you may work with these guys you may go and work there so geneva in switzerland is a beautiful place and uh, though they have wipo has offices uh, outside also uh, and uh, unlike other organizations in united nations wipo is you know profit generating body like 95% of its uh, resource budget comes from its own services services which it provides consultancy services which it provides to different countries and from there only budget comes now uh, next is uh, it has 193 member states including 190 united nation member states and uh, you know uh, there are couple of or, uh, countries only out of 193 united nation mein kitne members hain 193 members out of that only three members are not in wipo they are micronesia palau south sudan these are not in the wipo so not very important information yeah so what is the quick fact it was established in 1967 but wipo came in force in 1970 so convention was created in 1967 but wipo was born as a body it started working in 1970 that you should remember so where is a headquarter who is a general director general what how many members are there that should be known to you what wipo does it is a global platform global forum for intellectual property services policy making information dissemination cooperation coordination among various countries and it is self funding agency of united nations this is a very very important thing self funding so we don't we are not dependent upon the mercy of the rich members of united nations like permanent members of united nation america and all they are so they are uh, permanent members they have lot of clout in united nation they you know can amend their rules they sometime ignore united nation so uh, that is because they give lot of funding to united nation so uh, wipo is a self funding organization itself okay so uh, i will keep on summarizing the things which i told you it's a specialized agency headquarter employees is not important global uh, protection system it provides so where is a office of global protection system so uh, wipo has a different verticals different uh, bodies of wipo where these bodies are located that you should know global protection system kahan pe hai uh, exam mein direct question can come global protection system of wipo is located in which country you will say madrid in spain in hague or something like that so different countries mein wo hai technical assistant development agenda uske bare mein baat karta hai dispute resolution services uske bare mein baat karta hai and uh, decision is taken by general assembly and coordination committee and wipo conference so whenever some decision is to be taken then these are the bodies uh, which will decide something डिसीजन मेकिंग बॉडीज आपकी ये बॉडीज हैं ओके नाउ डब्ल्यू आई पी ओ सेज दैट वी क्रिएटेड अ कन्वेंशन विच वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सेवन बट देन वी वर बोर्न इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एंड वट वी वॉन्ट इज इनोवेशन एंड क्रिएटिविटी फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ एवरी वन एंड यू नो डब्ल्यू आई पी ओ वॉज नॉट क्रिएटेड ओवर नाइट इट वॉज नॉट दैट नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सेवन में सडनली we thought of creating intellectual property protection body it was not like that so it's a long history wipo has a long history aapko kuch points usme se pata hone chahiye but as i told you document you can download from our website so what you should know is like paris convention and bern convention ye do yaad rakh lena these were the starting points so wipo later on was conceived and formed but the starting point was paris and bern convention these two were the starting point you need not to know anything in this uh, even dates are not important but yes 1883 1886 paris convention bern convention and a little bit about you know why these were created 
international agreement uh, was created and also little bit idea you should have. So these were the two things which uh, uh, started you know uh, they were the beginning uh, bodies for conventions for uh, this WIPO. Then Madrid agreement took place and there were certain things which were which happened in uh, these like uh, Madrid uh, first international IP filing service was launched. Madrid system for international registration of marks. So uh, little bit you can read about it but I don't think it's very important. BIRPI you know Bern convention it was Paris and Bern convention actually uh, led to uh, you know WIPO's immediate predecessor. So this is the French acronym of WIPO. What was the earlier name of WIPO if he ask you what was the earlier name of WIPO that was French version and it was a B I R P I and it was in 1893. So it was based in Bern, Switzerland and uh, that was you know United Nations International Bureau for Protection of Intellectual Property uh, and acronym is BIRP. So what is the full form of BIRP or what was the predecessor of w WIPO? So ancestor or predecessor of WIPO was United International Bureau for Protection of Intellectual Property. Usi ka naam acronym of French to hume nahi aata, French ka naam bhi hume nahi aata. Uska acronym French mein hai BIRPI. Then you know uh, BIRPI was established. So that is what we discussed. And in 1970 BIRPI becomes WIPO. So when was WIPO born? Sir it was born in 1970 and it came into force in 1970 that is how you should know then headquarter was in Geneva. 1974 WIPO joins United Nation so WIPO now joins United Nation and becomes specialized agency of United Nation and then 1978 PCT system was launched international patent system starts operating in 1978 right so WIPO ka main activity was this only to facilitate the filing of international patent and filing of international patent should be the international system. We know today that whatever technology you create global positioning system, Microsoft, Google, search engine, social networking sites, whatever technology you make today, the technologies are used world over. So I need to protect those technologies. Aaj mein 3D printing ek technology create kiya. So world over it is going to be used. Edison created bulb. Is it being used only in his country or all the countries? So whenever some new technology is born, it is to be used in different countries. So it should be protected. Hence international patenting is required. New invention is protected through patent. I told you in the previous class. Meri pichle class mein mein discuss kiya tha. कि जब भी नई टेक्नोलॉजी आती है तो उसको पेटेंट करवाना पड़ता है और जब उस टेक्नोलॉजी को पेटेंट करवाते हैं तो पेटेंटिंग का एक इंटरनेशनल मेथड होना चाहिए पेटेंट का एक इंटरनेशनल स्कीम होना चाहिए तो WIPO का ये जो PCT सिस्टम था PCT सिस्टम मींस यू नो पेटेंट सिस्टम पेशेंट पेटेंट फाइलिंग सिस्टम व्हिच वी हैव एंड दैट शुड बी इंटरनेशनल पेटेंट फाइलिंग सिस्टम Patent Cooperation Treaty. What is PCT Patent Cooperation Treaty? Helps the patent protection international uh, conventions in, uh, in international inventions are to be protected through patent. Usi ke liye patent cooperation treaty tha jo 1978 mein humne launch kiya tha. Right? So this is uh, something which is important uh, milestone and important information. Another thing is arbitration and mediation center AMC. So that was launched in 1994. What is the role of arbitration and mediation center? Its role kya hai? Its role hai to uh, offer alternate dispute resolution services to help solve international commercial dispute. Private parties. Yeh isme sabse important chiza private parties. Whenever there is a commercial dispute, government ne nahi. WIPO does not redress the disputes between the government bodies. No. WIPO only steps in when there is a dispute between private parties. Government to government negotiation hota hai, discussion hota hai, that is facilitated but WIPO is not the international body for that. WIPO is commercial dispute between private parties. 
how to resolve that for that amc was created in 1994 and there was another mediation center was created that was alternate dispute for alternate dispute re resolution uh, 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 basically if you want to do that then this was created there so i think this is very very important so these two uh, things are very important they are the main activities so when was amc created and when was pct created what is pct that is patent cooperation treaty and what is amc that is the arbitrary you know uh, arbitration and mediation center so that is to uh, resolve the disputes that is the purpose of that now what is wipo academy what is the this academy this is to provide journal and specialized courses on intellectual property when when you think of academy think of you know educational institute like there are so many institutes which have name academy with them right academy means some kind of coaching center or some kind of coaching institute or teaching institute or something like that so wip wipo academy means okay we will launch some kind of courses agar aapko ip mein kuch learn karna hai courses karne hain to aap hamara courses join kar sakte hain wo interdisciplinary hai and a wide range of ip professionals ko help karte hain i told you know intellectual property is a very good profession intellectual property mein bahut acha career hai bahut acha profession hai intellectual property mein and if you want to become the professional of intellectual property then you can uh, you know uh, learn a lot and you can go for certification of these kind of specialized bodies like wipo to ye bhi aapke liye ek achhi opportunity hai training skill enhancement all these things go into this in particular developing and least developed countries okay now wipo development agenda was adopted in 2007 it adapted the development agenda to so, development agenda hai kya wipo ka kab usne adapt adopt kiya usko so 2007 mein it was adopted and uh, this agenda is nothing but like uh, uh, you know development of human being uh, socio economic development of the human being is the ultimate objective of wipo work so implementation of development agenda and uh, uh, recommending certain things that is the main activity of wipo now so this is what you should know that development agenda when it was acquired so humne jitna bhi piche kiya these uh, you know years are important and we should know that what are the main activities of wipo wipo ka main activity hai kya aur wipo kaun si uh, organizations ki help se ye karta hai and when were these things created like uh, patenting filing of the patents and helping people file the patents uh, for that that is wipo helps so when pct was uh, uh, you know uh, when pct was launched when uh, did wipo join united nation when was wipo born what were the main creation uh, conventions bern and paris from there wipo started so agar main isko summarize karu jo bhi humne abhi tak kiya let me summarize this i will say paris and bern convention were the starting point for creation of wipo then you know madrid agreement happened birpa agreement happened birp was established and birp became wipo so earlier version of wipo was birp that is a french name now wipo joined uh, united nation as a as a specialized agency so that is 1974 then pct was launched in 1978 amc established in 1994 then wipo academy 1998 then you know uh, development agenda they acquired in 2007 so this is some kind of you know timeline you should know and yes this marrakesh treaty is very very important because india is also signatory in the first signatory actually of marrakesh treaty and it is is related this is related to production and international transfer of some books which visually impaired people can read right so it was adopted and this and came into force in 2001 2016 and uh, let me tell you like india was the uh, earliest signatory to marrakesh treaty okay so this is again the summary paris convention bern convention and uh, when was birp created when birp became wipo and when wipp became specialized agency so same thing another slide i have added and this is some kind of you know milestone the most important is 1970 when wipo was established bern and paris conventions
right? And I told you this building is uh, in Geneva. And someday you guys are also going to go to Geneva. So, who is the Director General of WIPO presently? That is Darren Tang and he is from Singapore. And you know, he is a Chief Executive of this and the position is Director General. Yeah. So, these are all details you can take down, you can take from our site. These documents are available there. WIPO ke functions, I have discussed bhi kiye. Ek to intellectual property ki protection and uh, different countries should come out with the laws to protect intellectual property and to facilitate that WIPO does work. International agreement sign karne hai, burn and Paris ka implementation, legal and technical support to people, I mean NGOs, governments and all, research and publication, I mean uh, as we saw the academy, I mean if you want to do certification on IP that can be done, those kind of things can be done. So these are another way, other way to understand the uh, functions of WIPO. <coughs> Resolution of private disputes, government private disputes. Legal and technical assistance to financial, nahi, legal and technical does not depend upon the mercy of United Nations for financial support. So, does not give you financial support also. India ka kya relation hai WIPO ke saath? So, India joined it in 1975. First country to ratify Marrakesh Treaty. I will discuss with you Global Innovation Index. Because innovation and creativity is facilitated by protection of these kind of technologies, intellectual property, right? So, India is doing good in GII, Global Innovation Index. India ka level increase hua hai in 2022 also, 2021 also. In 2019, India was 52 and uh, 2018 mein aur bhi piche tha. 2022 mein even now presently I think the position is 40th position. WIPO publication Global Innovation Index is the global ranking which reflects the innovative uh, capacity of different countries. WIPO along with Cornell University and INSEAD University in France. In ke saath milke ek index banaya jis mein 80 indicators hain. There are 80 indicators in that index which is called Global Innovative Innovation Index. Now that reflects the innovative capability of particular country. You know, how much research is going on in that country, R&D kitna chal raha hai. <coughs> how people are uh, acquiring the new technologies like kabhi bhi new technology aati hai whatsapp google gps mobile phone internet india acquires that right so there are many countries which do not acquire at that fast pace like in 4g 5g airtel you know all these things so you know india is fast in acquiring the technologies also indian technocrats are doing the work also i mean we are creating technologies also but we are acquiring new technologies also so, from that aspect, I think India is doing good in, w, in Global Innovative Index. India is at 40th position presently in 132 and is doing good. Switzerland has been at the top position. Right? So, there are many uh, basically parameters to know that. What is Global Innovation Index? इसको डिटेल में पढ़ना, World Intellectual Property Organization इसको पब्लिश करती है, and uh, with the help of Cornell University and INSEAD, it uh, was created in 2007. Subjective and objective data is collected from different countries, World Bank, World Economic Forum, International Telecommunication Union, and that is the reason you know India में telecom revolution came long back, and we we are doing quite good in telecom. There is the reason India is far ahead in World Intellectual uh, index world uh, global in innovation index so how the economy is innovating for that this parameter is good so what are the parameters which are taken into consideration 
institutions, human capital research, infrastructure, market sophistication, business sophistication. There are so many parameters. Right? So, India has something to feel proud about. Like 40th rank, India climbs to 40th rank in the Global Innovation Index. And there is a huge jump of this. So, India is doing relatively good. As I told you, like our credibility and credentials in uh, telecom and internet and all these are the reasons why I think India is jumping to these high ranks. Jesse, uh, WIPO is coming out with World Intellectual, World Innovation, Global Innovation Index. Similar to that, Niti Aayog, the planning commission version of uh, uh, body uh, that is Niti Aayog in India is uh, coming out with the India Innovation Index, right? Just GIA vs III, India's Innovation Index in which, you know, they give some kind of uh, ranking to the states. So, Karnataka gets, gets number one, Telangana gets number two, something like that. So, they are doing this. They have also come out with this kind of index. So, world base of super Switzerland, for United States, Sweden, United Kingdom, Netherlands, South Korea, Singapore, Germany and then you know India is at 40th position. Region wise if you see India, Iran, Uzbekistan in the central, India comes in central and southern Asia. India is South Asian country, East Asia may Korea, Singapore, China. So, different countries in different regions, they are doing like this. Okay, so I am very sure you guys enjoyed this uh, lecture now and this is the time now we go for our uh, quiz or questions, typical questions, you know, kind of questions you may expect in the exam. So, typical questions of that type uh, we are going to discuss now. So, let us go for questions. Who is current Director General of WIPO? Darren Tang, Singapore. Where is headquarter of WIPO? You know, Geneva. When was WIPO established? 1970. I told you like it came into force in 1970. Though 1967 May convention was signed. When did WIPO join United Nation? 74. Marrakesh is related to adaptation of books for visually impaired people. Most innovative nation as per Global Innovation Index, <coughs> Switzerland. What is India's rank in 2022? 40. When this GIA started? 2007. Which two universities were included? Cornell and INSEAD. INSEAD and Cornell. From where you get the data for making this index GII? Answer is none of these. That means it gets none of these means not only United Nations, not only uh, different nations. It is like United Nations bodies and different nations also. Some total of all this. How many indicators? 80, 80. Which of the following is a function of WIPO? Harmonize national intellectual property legislations, exchange IP information. Provide the legal and technical assistance to the nations. What do you think? Or all of them? Answer is all of these. WIPO was born basically because of the two treaties, Bern and Paris Treaty. Bern and Paris Treaty. In which of the following years it adopted development agenda? I think 2007. Okay, so I think we come to an end of this wonderful session now. So let me thank all of you.
for being here for listening to this class and uh, as all of us know examiner patent and design wonderful opportunity to join government job even if you are of age 34 just give your four months give four months to the mentors not only four months september may exam hai, october may exam hai. so next couple of months give next couple of months to the mentors of europedia you will surely hit it big or uska intro hai intro crack karenge and we will become examiner patent and design so all the very best and keep uh, attending the classes of the mentors of europedia so that you can make it really big thank you